Dona Flor by Pat Mora, illustrated by Raul Colon. A tall tale about a giant woman with a great big heart. And remember, tall tales are really exaggerated stories. Um, so you can see a couple of things that are in this picture um, that are going to kind of give you a few details about what's going to happen in this story. Every winter morning when the sun opened one eye, Donna Floor grabbed a handful of snow from the top of a nearby mountain. Brr, she said, rubbing the snow on her face to wake up. Long, long ago, when Floor was a baby, her mother sang to her in a voice sweet as river music. When Floor's mother sang to her corn plants, they grew tall as trees. And when she sang to her baby, her sweet flower, well... Floor grew and grew too. Some children laughed at her because she was different. Mira, look, Bigfoot, they called when she walked by. Floor talks funny, they whispered, because Floor spoke to butterflies and grasshoppers. She spoke every language, even Rattler. But soon Floor's friends and neighbors asked her for help. Children late for school asked, Por favor, Floor, could you give us a ride? She just took one of her giant steps and was at the school door. Of course, the escuela shook and the windows rattled. Remember, escuela, escuela is school. So here she is. She's carrying the children to school so they don't arrive late. When Floor finally stopped growing, she built her own house, una casa big as a mountain and open as a canyon she scooped a handful of dirt and made herself a valley for mixing clay straw and water she added some estrellas the stars made the adobe shine when she worked floor sang and birds came and built nests in her hair here you can see the birds and they're building a nest in her hair and she does not seem to care floor wanted everyone to feel at home in her house Mi casa es su casa, she said to people, animals, and plants, so they knew they were always welcome. Everyone called her Dona Flor because they respected her. No one needed an alarm clock in Dona Flor's pueblo. When her hands, wide as plates, started to pat, pat, patting tortillas, everyone in the village woke up. So her neighbors would have plenty of eat, she stacked her tortillas on the huge rock table in front of her house. Flor's tortillas were the biggest, bestest tortillas in the whole wide world. People used the extra ones as roofs. Mmm, the houses smelled corn good when the sun was hot. In the summer, the children floated around the pond on tortilla rafts. Cool. One warm spring day, while a family of lizards swept her house, Dona Flor brought out her stacks of fresh tortillas. Nobody came. Hmm, thought Flor. She started knocking on doors and calling to her neighbors. Que pasa? What's the matter? She asked, bending down to peer into their small doors to see where they were hiding. El Puma, they whispered. The children have heard a huge mountain lion circling the village. Listen. Floor listened, and sure enough, she heard a terrible roar. So here's Floor, and she's in the, the doorway above her neighbors. Do you see how big her eye is in comparison with the home? Donna Floor and her animal friends went out looking for the huge gato. Gato is cat. But they couldn't find it. That night, she carried her tired friends, the coyotes and rabbits, back home. But just as she started to tuck them in and read them a good night story, they all heard, ROAR! Where is that darn cat? asked Floor. But the scared animals were shaking and shivering under their sheets. She gave each a giant kiss. Smack! The sound echoed and woke the grumpy wind, who stormed up and down the hills, a grumbling and a growling that night. The wind got so angry that he blew the trees and houses first to the left and then to the right. Again to the left and then to the right. 
The wind is angry. Now Dona Flor liked her sleep, so she wasn't smiling when she heard the wind spinning round and around the village. Together, the wind and the giant cat roared all night, and nobody got much sleep. As the sun rose, Flor's neighbors, shaking at the commotion, peered out their windows. Tired-looking Flor was giving that wind a big hug to quiet him down. Then she started her morning chores. Now remember, this is a tall tale. So in this tall tale, she's able to hug the wind. But we know in real life that that's not something that could actually happen, hugging the wind. Dona Flor had work to do. But first, she looked around the village. Where were her neighbors? Then she heard, roar, roar. We know what that is. Flora stomped off to find the puma that was bothering her amigos. Exhausted by afternoon, Donna Flora still hadn't found that cat. So she sat outside the library for a rest. She was too big to fit inside, so she just reached in the window for books. You see, Flor was probably the fastest reader ever. Why, she could read the whole encyclopedia in five minutes. She liked to sit in the shade and read stories and poems, nice and slow, to the children and animals that climbed all over her soft body. Today, she called and called, and finally, the children came. But they were scared. What can I do to cheer my friends up, wondered Flora as she saw their frightened faces. She thought and thought. Now Flor knew that her village need, needed una rio, a river, so to make her neighbors happy, Flor scratched a new riverbed with her thumb. So she's using her thumb, remember this tall tale, she's using her thumb to scratch in there and create a river. When the water trickled down um, the stones for the first time, Flor called out, just listen to that, isn't that the prettiest sound you've ever heard? She smiled, and her smile was about as big as her tortillas. But today, her neighbors could barely smile back. They were too worried about the mountain lion. And sure enough, suddenly, there was a terrible roar, roar. The lion is out there. That's it, Donna Flora thought. And again, she stomped off to look for the giant puma. But she still couldn't find him. She went home to think and work in her garden. It was like a small forest on the edge of the pueblo, a tangle of poppies, morning glo glories, roses, luscious tomatoes, and chiles. Whenever she planted, I'm sorry, whatever she planted grew so fast you could hear the roots spreading at night. Her neighbors used the sunflowers as bright yellow umbrellas. Here's a sunflower here. Um, she gave the school band her hollyhocks to use as trumpets. The music smelled like spring. My plants grow that big because I sing to them like my mother did. Donna Flor told the children when they came three at a time to carry home an ear of corn. But today, the children ran home and they heard roar. The sound rattled all the plates in the pueblo. Flor's neighbor's teeth started rattling too means that they're scared. Where is that big monster gato? Dona Flor wondered. The smell of roses helped Flor think. So she went inside and took a long, hot bubble bath. Everyone knew Dona Flor was thinking when bubbles that smelled like roses began to rise from her chimney. I know, thought Flor. I'll go to my animal friends for help. She stomped off again, and she started asking because, remember, she spoke every language, even Rattler. Go quietly to the tallest mesa, said the deer. Vaya silencios, samate a las mesas más alta, hissed the snake. Okay, so there's a lot of S's in there. That's why it's a little tricky for me to say. Go quietly to the tallest mesa, whispered the rabbit. Knowing that animals are mighty smart, Donna Flor followed their advice. She walked very, very softly up to the tallest mesa. She looked around carefully for the giant cat. Then, right near her, she heard, Roar! Roar! Flor jumped so high she bumped into the sun and gave him a black eye. 
Do you believe that's true? That she would bump into the sun and give the sun a black eye? Hmm. Remember this exaggerated tall tale? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're right. It couldn't really happen. Floor looked around. All she saw was the back of a cute little puma. She watched him very quietly. Gona Floor began to tiptoe toward the puma when all of a sudden he roared into a long, hollow log. The sound became a huge roar that echoed down into the valley. Oh, she is very smart. Now that little puma thought the loud noise was so funny that he rolled on his back and started laughing and laughing until he saw big Donna Floor. Alta, thought Floor. I'm sorry, it says, uh, it says, aha, thought Floor. Are you the chico who's causing all the trouble, she asked. The little puma tried to look very fierce. His eyes sizzled with angry sparks. He opened his mouth wide and his teeth glinted. He roared his meanest roar. Roar, he growled. But without the log, the growl wasn't very fierce. Donna Floor just smiled at that brave cat and said, Why, you're just a kitten to me, Pumito. Then she bent down and scratched that little puma behind the ears and she whispered to him in cat talk until the cat began to purr and purr. Pumito began to lick Floor's face with his wet tongue. Suddenly, Floor heard a new noise. Dona Flor, donde estas? Where are you? called her worried neighbors. Even though they were frightened, they had all come, holding hands, looking for her. Meet my new amigo, said Dona Flor, smiling at her thoughtful neighbors. That evening, Flor plucked a star, the way she always did, and plunked it on the tallest tree so her friends could, in the pueblo could find their way home. She plucked una estrella, to put above her door, too. Even the stars could hear Dona Flor humming. Now, can you really actually go up into the sky and take down a star? No, this tall tale has a lot of exaggerated things. They are made to help it be a little bit more exciting. Flor liked a fresh bed, so she reached up and filled her arms with clouds smelling of flowery breezes. She shaped the clouds into a soft, deep bed and into the hills of puffy pillows. Hmm, said Floor as she snuggled in the clouds. Tonight I'm very tired after my adventure with the giant cat. Right, Pumito? There he is, <laughs> chuckled Dona Floor. All the animals snuggled down with her and Pumito stretched out over her big toes. There are all the animals on her lap. There's the cat that caused all that trouble. The Tall Tale About a Giant Woman with a Great Big Heart, Dona Flor. <laughs>